Yeah, this is the Pisiphon or Pescifon. I'm not sure how they pronounce it, but I know pesci is, uh, is uh, Latin for fish, and fun is English for, well, fun. Of course, Latin is dead, and this is not a Latin word, although it's derived from such. The Pisiphon or Pescifon sword, they call it the sword. Uh, neat name. I think it, you know, you're slaying the fish, that kind of thing. That's what they're thinking, probably. I think Gladius would have been a cooler name, because Gladius is, guess what, Latin, or Gladius, or it's Latin for sword. Had a Roman soldier with a fly rod. That'd have been kind of funny. This is the first graphite fly rod I've ever owned, and you guys know how I feel about graphite fishing rods, right? They, you know, I, they, they break. You got to baby them, but. I baby my fly fishing gear anyway, a fly rod. See, this thing's balanced pretty well right here. With my old Phillips and 6.7 weight, I'd have to have my hands way up here or something to get it balanced out because those old fly, fly fiberglass is heavy and it's not the, it's great for trolling and drifting like I do, but for casting, it's just not, it's just, it's really just too heavy. I'm amazed at how light this graphite rod is. I like the fighting butt here. Um, none of my other fly rods have ever had a fly, fly fighting butt. It's great if you're putting it on the ground and you need to dole out line without the reel being all in the sand and in the grit. And you can put it, a lot of fly fishing will put it against your chest like that, fight the fish that way. Uh, up locking reel seat, not my favorite. I prefer down locking because it puts this further back. But you, I think they do that because you have the extra space with the fighting butt, and so that's a good compromise. The thing, I love fiberglass rods, but for fly casting these modern weight forward fly lines, and this is their fly line as well, weight forward, seven weight fly line, it just doesn't cast that weight forward stuff very efficiently. It just, it's like, it's like jumping off of a really long and limber, you know, so it's a spaghetti rod. So, it, you know, whereas, this line loads this rod very easily and very quickly and, it, and I can really just snap it. I can snap it, you know. It requires much quicker timing and much more precise, faster acceleration to a stop. <clears throat> you know, whereas the other one was more just sort of graceful river runs through it stuff. Fly rods go by weight. I mean, it's seven weight. It's just, I don't know what that comes from. It doesn't have anything to do with the pound test or anything. It's just a seven weight fly rod. And it has to do with the number of grains. I forget how many grains is in their seven weight line, but um, it's kind of like grains in a bullet or something, I guess. Fly fishing is ultralight fishing by definition. You tie your own flies or your own streamers or your own baits or your own lures. And that's really where fly, Black Warrior lures comes from. Tying flies and fly-tied lures. Because I don't do dry flies and all that. I, everything I fish is below water, and a lot of times I tip it with night crawlers. But, you know, in order to catch fish, you have to actually tie some flies first. <laughs> So it's just a Mickey fin, which has been, I want to do some bass fishing. Black thread, yellow bucktail, red bucktail, and number two hook. I, all, my, all my flies are designed to be tipped with uh, night crawlers. Embroidery thread, sulky brand, made in Germany. If you can see that, those are the numbers there. It's embroidery thread I got from uh, Joann's. Start out, base of thread. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Oops. Fifteen. Generally fifteen. Come back around. Wrap it back forward. Rip off the snip, the end of it. Yellow. Bucktail. I use the, the actual yellow fibers here and just stack them separately, yellow, red, yellow. Take it here and just sort of roll it around to kind of help mix it in. You want to 
take the shorter threads out so I at the end and just pull all that out and it just gets thrown away get some gold tinsel doesn't matter if it's a hologram type or not take it cut it in half you could use even crystal flash for this in fact I would recommend you just use plain old crystal flash once you have a piece that's how, how long is that two inches long about as long as your thumb you'll take it in half like so doesn't have to be pretty All right. stroke it back and tie it in and uh, that's a pretty scrawny one one to a lot of times for quick tying three half hitches usually we'll secure that with some super glue and that my friends you've got flash you've got hair and that'll be tipped with a night crawler about as long as the tail here We had wind caught anything was We're out of gas. <laughs> We're totally out of gas, fellas. I got plenty of gas in the in the tank here. I got a five gallon tank, but uh I just don't feel like putting any more and the wind is blowing just the perfect speed to drift us right back to the boat dock while we're casting into this bank with the fly rod, the pisciphon or piscophon. I doubt if we catch anything. I don't think the fish are shallow and I don't, I really don't think they're on this end of the lake. You think, if you think dealing with bird nesting on a bait casting rod is annoying, wait till you start getting you know, 50 or 100 feet of fly line out and tangling on everything in your boat. <laughs> I really prefer a roll cast to anything. All right. I can stand off a good ways from the bank. I got up. Forward momentum there. Okay. Oh, and I'm out of batteries. And I'm out of batteries. Battery low.